Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, anywhere you are in the world. My name is Cyprian Johnson. I'm your host. My topic today is about what happened in Abuja at the High Court. Some of you must have um, listened to my videos about the same subject. It's all about our great leader, Mazen Namdekano, who was kidnapped from Kenya and uh, sent to Nigeria, um, where he is now in the DSS custody. First of all, I have to remind those watching this uh, video that um, kidnapping an innocent person from one country to the other is a criminal offense. So the Kenyan government and the Nigerian uh, jihadist government are responsible for um, what happened, what transpired between Kenya and uh, Nigeria. And our leader was tortured in Kenya, kept on the ground, on the floor for seven days, chained. So in fact, uh, this is to tell you that um, the great leader Mazen Namdekano is anointed. He's not an ordinary human being. He is not an ordinary human being. He's God sent to help people around the world. He's a freedom fighter and um, is um, giving his life to make sure that people are free. You and I, we are free. Yes, I live in France where things are working very fine, but with my attachment in that um, country called Nigeria, I still have people over there. And the voice of Namdekano on Radio Biafra liberated so many of them. He liberated so many voices. And this is why we should do everything in our power um, to make sure that he, anywhere he is today, he'll be proud of us. I know he cannot see this video but the most important thing is to continue the good job until he comes out. He will come out safe. He will, yeah. If he didn't die in Kenya, we were very lucky. They did not kill him in Kenya after seven days. No human being can survive that, but he's alive today and the enemies are afraid of him. So why I've come out this evening, French time to talk about this, is because the DSS, that is the um, Fulani Janjawi um, uh, police, did not bring him to court. With all the soldiers, with all the police, I was watching live from my office here, what was happening. They were arresting people, abducting people, molesting people, hours and hours. The lawyers were waiting, and uh, sorry for that. The lawyers were waiting. The IPOP lawyers were there. Some of them were not allowed to enter inside the court. With all that, with all the drama, like uh, Fela Ramson Kutu will say, with all the shakara, they finally came to tell the court that they cannot produce him. Horrible, horrible, horrible. They cannot produce him. Why? You see, these guys don't know how to lie. <laughs> they lie like kids. Said logistic, logistics problem. Logistic problem. And then what was it all about the logistic problem? 
there was no car to bring him, but you guys got the car to come down to the court. You guys mobilized so many soldiers, so many police guys for only one man, but now there was no car to bring him. Is that an oversight? No. It's because the person you are holding is anointed. He is not an ordinary human being. You guys will discover him more and more as you are holding him. And to be honest with you, some of you who, are, who have tried to touch his hair or try to abuse him where he is, I'm sorry for your family. It's not, it's not a threat. It's because you are touching an anointed person. God sent to come and save humanity. What is this guy talking about? What is, what is the sin of Unam de Kano? The sin of Unam de Kano is that he wants good schools for your children. He wants water for everyone. He wants light for everyone. He wants freedom of speech for everyone. And those of you that are abusing him, those of you in the army and in the DSS, he's, he is also fighting for your families so that you can be free from the oppressors. Yep. So what happened today in the Abuja court was just laughable, very laughable. The whole world is laughing at Nigeria. Nigeria is a joke. It is a big joke. The zoo is a joke. It's, it, 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 it's I don't know, they're disgracing their country, not my own country, I'm a Biafran. They're disgracing themselves everywhere. Why didn't you tell us at nine o'clock in the morning that he was not there, that you cannot produce him? You allowed everybody to see that. And finally, you came to tell us that he was not there, that it was logistics, that it was because... Um, there was no car. Anyway, the case has been adjourned. I hope you guys will bring him in October or even before the, you, you, even before October. I listened to um, his uh, lawyer. He said they will do everything to make sure he is free. So it's something that is laughable. It's very, very laughable to see how a whole country has become a joke. The Zoological Republic of Nigeria is a, is a big joke. So as I have, having said that, having said that, I have to thank the lawyers of uh, our great leader, Martin Nandekano, they are brave. Everyone that, that came to Abuja today to stand with him, they are brave. And for us here in France, we are standing strongly with you, our great leader. And nothing is going to happen to you. So what I can say before ending this uh, video is that we need more voices like my own. If you're not doing anything in the evening, try to create videos. Talk about this problem. You know why? Because tomorrow morning, which is going to be 27th of July, 2021, all the Nigerian Janjaweed newspapers, they will write nonsense. They will write nonsense. So we need our own media to make sure that we tell our own stories and we should not allow people to tell that story in our place. Thank you very much and bye for now.